Hi friends, this is Susie, your gaming guru, here to help you solve the puzzle of level 3936 in Candy Crush Saga, where we have 16 moves to clear out 102 jelly. And let's just try to fathom this experience here before we jump in. We have got so many barriers. Now, of course, we do have some beautiful stripes with stripe dispensers. The problem is that stripes get stuck at the first sign of a licorice swirl. And even if I have three stripes aimed at the same licorice swirl, it's only going to take out one licorice swirl and not go beyond. So we've got to open these up from their licorice locks and then remove the licorice that's in the way and then keep using them to cruise down here. And remember, when it goes with a stripe down, it's not going to take out all that licorice. It'll take down one. And then the next will take down another. So we need to use this interior area to influence what happens here and all the way throughout. This is one that I think is not going to be won quickly nor easily. We can investigate all of these moves that we have, but until we really start to see the board open up, this is a luck game. We just have to be lucky, and obviously on this one, not quite so lucky here. I'm taking out colors that aren't very prevalent to try to expand. Um, well, I'm taking out these guys to expand the board and then taking out the colors that are prevalent to expand my chances of getting more specials in here. See, this is what we need is those specials. So now I've got specials. I think I will go ahead and I can take out all blue or all orange. I've got two of these orange here. Now remember, even if I were to open these up and then I hit these, these are going to take out marmalade and then they're going to take out a little bit of licorice but they're just not going to see themselves all the way through to the end. So this is a, a rough road to travel. Once I am able to breach this problem, though, and start to open this up, then we'll probably see a lot of chaos. We need to wait and find that chaos that's going to get us through here, that just keeps dropping down and setting off these stripes so that we can get through multiple layers of this. Just didn't happen that time round. So I'm going to pause the recording, come back with a new board. I'll bring the microphone, I'll have it turned off until I have something important to say. And even if I find a level where I'm not going to win, but it's going to show that immense chaos, then I'll uh, bring the microphone back up and talk that through with you folks. Okay, so that's what I needed to have happen. And I don't think we're still going to be able to get this done in time because now notice that some of these are the wrong direction. If they were horizontal and they could hit the edges, that would be awesome. But I can't move this over easily and it's just not aimed well. Although I do think making chaos on the board is one of the best approaches here because they need something else to kind of volunteer and drop in. Didn't quite work, but we got much closer this time around. So that's what we're waiting for, a little bit of luck, actually. And when you get that luck, try to capitalize on it by making the best choices possible. Don't just set off stripes. Look for the ones that are going to hit the stripes that are going to make a difference down here. So again, I'll pause. I'll come back when there's something more to share.
wow. So that was exciting. Um, and a little bit more productive because now I still have six moves to get everything done. And we only have three colors, so the chances of getting something spectacular are better. I want to aim over here. I can't quite get there. This would help a little bit if it got set off, but not much. So I'm going to go ahead and go for the chaos factor. There we go. So staying away from the areas that I think I should go to and just going to the areas that, you know, are going to create the chaos. That's what we need to do. This is not a good choice, in my opinion. It's going to turn these into, well, it would set that off, but it's going to turn this into a wrapped. It's not going to reach down here. So instead, I think what I'll do is I will just take out green, which will set off. Yeah, that's still kind of awful, isn't it? If I take off green, this is going to hit here and do a different color. But if I just take out blue, I think I might be better off. Things still might blow this up, but yeah. But it wasn't a sure thing. And actually, it's going fairly well, kind of. Here we go. I've got this. This will set this off. So we've got one cleared and then the second one cleared. That wasn't too bad. It was under five tries to get that done. But it is frustrating when you can't get a good purchase on it. You can't get that start of that board to help you to clear everything out. It is the board that does the work, the majority of the work. We're just going to have to know that we have to be a little bit patient on this one. If you have any questions or comments, please put those below. And as always, thank you so much for watching.